I suppose I should kick things off with an apology. Whatever for? Winning. Labour has just won the general election by four seats. It is 20th October 1964, and I am aware of your affection for my predecessor. Doubtless you would have preferred he continue in office, but the country said otherwise. It's my duty not to have preferences. Oh, we all do, though, don't we? Can't help it. It's human nature. And I can see the attraction of someone like Posh Alec. The Earl of Hope. Someone you can chat with about the racing. Someone well-bred and high-born, who knows how to use the cutlery, as opposed to a ruffian like me. Hardly. Still, I know a look when I see one. And when I came to the palace to clock on with Mary and the boys, don't think I didn't notice the look on your courtier's faces. Did you see a look on my face? No. Well, then, it's just wives and children are not generally invited to the kissing of hands. Your what? Majesty, <laughs> Prime Minister, before coming today, I checked with the cabinet secretary and it turns out that in the seven years that I've been Prime Minister, we have had 133 audiences, always the model of cordiality, productivity, and mutual respect. So, seen within a context like that, it's perhaps not unreasonable to expect the isolated hiccup. What hiccup? I was under the impression that Her Majesty never expressed her political views in public. I do. That there was an unbreakable code of silence between Sovereign and First Minister. There is one that I should tell you I've never broken. Not once in 34 years. Until now. You have proved yourself a loyal ally to this family, which is why I am keen to help you now. Why don't you resign? Don't think I hadn't considered it. Resign at lunchtime at Lord's by the afternoon? I'd be happy as bunter in a bakery. No, in order to stand again for re-election, throw down the gauntlet to all those nasty rebels. Sack me or back me? Something like that. Put up or shut up? Even better, a real show of strength. But what if they did back me? We'd only be back here again in a month. I detect that you are a man who is uncomfortable in his own crisis, yet you were so good in mind, which places you at a distinct disadvantage, since from where I have been sitting all these years, it seems the crisis in your job is the natural setting. Do we have to have the trip meeting to have the palace? Yes. And does there have to be a detective hovering all the time? Yes. And why can't the other ghost just call me by my name? No one will ever call you by your name, nor look you in the eye nor ask you what you think or care about. They just expect you to do exactly as they want and to never show how much you might struggle with that. Now go on, go back to the others and don't show anyone that you were sat 